All right, let's jump into Panini. So this is where uh, a lot more information is and uh, some really cool things that you could do while you're building your site, either in, um, in production or, or just in uh, prototyping. So uh, in, in Foundation 5, we had, um, or we used here at Zurb, we used a, a static site tool called Assemble. And it was great, but when we were building Foundation 6, we wanted to offer um, some of these tools that we were using internally to deliver client projects uh, to everybody else. And so we thought um, we wanted to include handlebar templating. Uh, so the, the problem with that was that Assemble didn't actually have a gulp version and we were using gulp, so we created our own. Uh, so that's called Panini. It's it is a it's a flat file um, page creator. Uh, it is a uh, handlebar templating engine. It it is not exactly a stat, static site generator. It has a few um, different features, but uh, it'll get you really close to uh, to everything. It, it basically has everything you'll need to to have to um, you know, in everyday production. So show you what that means. It does a lot of different things for you. Um, there's a concept of a layout. The layout is what wraps your uh, page content. So on every page you have a head and you have your closing body tags. Uh, and it doesn't make sense for you to copy and paste those into every new page that you create. Uh, so we have a concept of a layout. The layout is actually you you have it coded one time and then it um, populates, wraps around a, every page that you create. Partials are HTML partials. They're just pieces of HTML that you can add in in multiple different places, especially if you're going to repeat a bunch of different ones. Uh, partials is the way to go with that. Helpers, uh, we have a lot of helpers that um, can be written. Um, I'm going to show you some real life examples of helpers and then uh, data. You can actually store data in JSON or YAML files um, that you could reuse over and over again inside of your pages or your partials, which is really awesome. So I'm going to go with a high level overview here and then I'm going to jump into actual uh, code examples um, with a full fledged project. So the pages are your, um, you basically every page content. So that's like what you're actually putting into every page outside of, you know, the, the head of the document and the closing body tags. So as you create more pages, each one of them will be wrapped in the layout. Now, the way that uh, you can define what happens on each page um, can actually be done with this um, front matter uh, YAML. And I'll explain what all that means, but basically you can inject um, information into the page. You can choose what layout you're gonna use. So there's uh, lots of different um, ways to use this uh, front matter to actually configure uh, the page that you're actually coding. So in this example, we have defined a, a variable of title and the text is about. So down somewhere on your page, you're gonna have an H1 uh, with the handlebar include a title and then it will actually, when, when Panini is running, uh, basically every time you save, it'll look for this variable here and match it up and then inject this text right in there. So that sounds it may sound complicated, but it's actually really simple and it's a way for you to uh, inject different content onto each page using these variables. Uh, so the layout looks something like this uh, and you can have multiple layouts. So let's say uh, one use case for having multiple layouts would be if you had um, a little bit of different branding on your website for different um, items. So let's say, uh, for example, the foundation uh, site has foundation for sites, foundation for emails, and there's also foundation for apps. And each one of those has a different uh, base color and the footers are all different colors. 
So if I was to just hop over to foundation.zerb.com, um, you can see that there's this traditional um, blue footer color, but then if I hop over to email, we have this purple color. And uh, you know, one way to do that is to create a different layout that has that's importing um, different base colors. So that might be a use case for that. Okay, and then partials. Uh, partials are to be used for repeated components. And so things like your header, navigation, your footer, those are obvious places where you would uh, create partials. So I'm gonna jump over and give you some real examples from a real project. Uh, let's drag this one in and take a look. Okay, so this is a full-fledged real project that um, we worked on and I've changed the names uh, because they're, they're private, but uh, you can get some really good insights into how you can use this. So first let's take out, let's take a look at layouts. So we have a default layout. Anytime we're adding any kind of new scripts to the layout, we can do that right in the head. And um, you can see there's a lot of stuff going on in here, but if I was to just simply build this up, it would look something like this. So you can have something like, sorry, it's curly braces greater than sign uh, is the syntax for an HTML partial. And then we can inject our footer in here. And then we'll inject our navigation in here. So this is your layout of the page. We're saying that there's going to be a navigation at the very, very top. And then your body is going to be injected right after. Footer right below that. And then this sitemap thing, which is actually just a modal. So it could be anywhere. So that's your layout. And then if you go to your partials folder, you can see all the different partials that um, you might have created in your project. And then that's what we're pulling in from. So under the partials folder, the naming has to just be um, the name of the partial with a .html extension. When you're calling it in your actual layout, you just use this uh, syntax here with the two curly braces, a greater than sign, and then the name of the partial. You don't need the HTML extension, it's, it's uh, already assumed. So in the partial, of course, I just have my, my navigation, which um, is pretty standard. So that's how I would set up a um, you know, typical site. The reason you know, we would choose to actually do it uh, or include all the partials into the layout is that if I'm going to use this navigation or footer in every single page, then it makes sense that it's in the layout. If I was only going to use it on some pages, I would actually put the partial into the page itself. 